Crews are still on the scene tonight of a massive fire in San Francisco that destroyed a building under construction. The fast moving fire in Hayes Valley damaged four other buildings and displaced eight people. KTVU's Amber Lee joins us now live with the latest development. Amber. Julie, there is still a very active scene out here. Right now, crews are up there on where you can see there's a large crane that was brought in to help workers remove the scaffolding on the building, but progress is slow. A crane arrived at the intersection of Octavia Boulevard and Oak Street shortly before 7 Tuesday night to take down the scaffolding that surrounded the burned building under construction. Neighbors say it was being developed for housing. Authorities determined that the scaffolding was dangerous and needed to be removed. Following a fast moving fire that broke out at the building around 6 in the morning, it escalated and four other buildings were damaged. Neighbors evacuated. The flames woke us up. I mean, also the crackling. The crackling, it sounded like hail. It's messed up and it's. It's, it's upsetting and it was scary. Nadine Saez helped her neighbors evacuate. She and others say the construction site was unsecured, so squatters would use the space and leave before construction crews arrived in the morning. You can hear people walking up and down the stairs at night and hear voices and there's, yeah, the squatting and all of this is not surprising. Neighbors say they warned city officials repeatedly about encampment fires in the area. Fire officials say they're investigating where this fire started and what caused it. The building partially collapsed. This is something that we anticipated early on. That's why you saw the ladder trucks up, uh, putting over 800 gallons per minute of water out of those ladder pipes. Fire officials say damage to nearby homes displaced eight people, but that all of them have gone to stay with family or friends. We've reached out to the developer and the construction company, but we have not heard back. It looks like, it, you know, like it was actually going to maybe be c completed like at some point in the near future. And now it's like totally gone. So it's crazy. Fire officials say there's no sprinkler system since the building is under construction. Roads surrounding the building are still closed while work is being completed. Now, fire officials say roads will reopen once the scaffolding comes down and there is no timeline for how long this work here will take. Julie? Yeah, and it looks like quite a bit of scaffolding, so it probably will take some time. Amber, thank you.